Meanwhile, we're still tracking power outages from another incident PG&E says happened last night because of the storms that rolled through the area. This is a live look at the PG&E outage map right now. You can see thousands of folks still in the dark. They've been in the dark for about almost a whole day now, some 24 hours. Leaders tonight saying that they hope to get the lights back on by midnight, but they're saying that some folks may be in the dark as late as tomorrow morning. Mm -hmm. And right now, Kwan Farzam Monday. Harry is live for us in San Francisco explaining what caused so many people to be left in the dark today and this is separate from the power shutoffs that are expected tomorrow and Amanda as we understand it the rain played a role in this. Yeah, this is different. This is because of weather, most of this. It's because of weather with the rain. It's also because of some wildfire mitigation things they have going on that caused things to flip off. Now, where I am right now, I'm in the Glen Park area, and it's actually pitch black here. You can't tell because I have a light on my camera, but around me here, Everything is black. I really can't see anything unless a car drives by. So these power outages are still going on. Just the lack of electricity is, is annoying. And it was a long annoyance for some people, all the way from the Richmond area in the East Bay to the Glen Park neighborhood in SF. Chris Doble says he lost electricity in the middle of the night, and they were without it all day. Probably around 2 in the morning, I heard an explosion. Wasn't quite sure what it was, but then when the, I couldn't turn the lights on, I realized that the power was out. PG&E spokesperson Deanna Contreras says the explosion they heard was likely an electrical flashover. She says that was caused by the first real precipitation of the season. She says when we've been without rain for a long time, dust and dirt accumulates on the lines. But when all that dirt and dust gets wet, it turns into mud, which conducts electricity. And that's what's causing the outages. In the peninsula, PG&E had different problems that led to outages. But just due to these settings that we have on the line um, for wildfire mitigation. The wildfire mitigation settings allow for a line to turn off if a fault is detected. The lines were too sensitive and turning off at the wrong times. Contreras says they're fixing the problem to prevent it from happening in the future. She also says they had extra crews working throughout the Bay Area to get everyone's lights back on. You can see it caused some traffic in the Glen Park neighborhood. Doble says although it was a long day without power, it was just one day. I feel worse for people who end up in uh, disaster situations where you don't have any power for weeks. PG&E tells me that some customers were frustrated because they weren't notified beforehand about these power outages, but because they were weather related, there was no way they could notify people or know they would happen. Live in San Francisco, Amanda Harry, Cron 4 News.